wanted to do a quick video on Rand Paul recently endorsing Mitt Romney and say, what a waste. Can we finally admit that this has all been a titanic waste of time, talent, energy, and money? What was all this for? Seriously, when are we going to learn that you cannot solve a problem with the same consciousness that created the problem? There is no reforming or saving the system. It's too corrupt, too entrenched, and too rigged for any change to happen within the system. And what are we holding on to anyway? What is it exactly that's so great about this current way of life that we need to have saviors come and fix the system? Is it the wars, the debt, the drugs, the indoctrination, the consumerism, the obesity, the poverty, the criminal elite? What is worth saving? This system is mathematically going to fail, and it must fail in order for humanity to learn the lessons that debt and death are no way to live. At the end of March, I did a video called No One Is Coming To Save You. I did this while I listened to good-natured, trusting people listening to fairy tales about good guys coming to save us from bad guys. I have learned long ago that the bad guys are only powerful if we buy their lies and support their power structure. I also learned that the good guys cannot save us from ourselves. We are the cause of all of our problems in our lives. And until we take full responsibility for our lives, nothing will change. That very same week, I had a subscriber of mine ask Ron Paul if he thinks, quote, would it be more effective to work outside the paradigm to attain our freedom than to place more effort resources into legitimizing our current political and financial system? While I attribute much of my awakening to the hard work of Ron Paul, I cannot support any collective effort to work inside this paradigm. I hope now that this is all over, that people will realize that in order to solve any problem, we must adopt the complete opposite consciousness of the problem. We should be walking away from the rigged financial system and buy real assets like in the silver bullet and the silver shield. We should be walking away from empire and bring our troops home. We should be walking away from our corporate jobs and do things that resonate with us. We should be ignoring the lies of mainstream media and start spreading the truth. We should be walking away from the instant gratification and debt and embracing delayed gratification and equity. We should be walking away from national politics to only work on local races or better yet, ignore them all and become totally independent of the system. Face it, America, we've been played. The Republicans got fooled with the fiscal conservative Bush, who ballooned the deficit. The Democrats got fooled with the end the war and end the recession candidate of Obama. And the Tea Party got fooled with the meek candidates that fell right in line of Washington politics. There's only one party in Washington, and it's owned by the criminal elite. They control all the levers. They increase the debts, the wars, the deindustrialization, the loss of liberty, and ultimately the destruction of the middle class in America. Nothing in the past 30 years should give you any other conclusion than that. So stop supporting any collective effort against things outside of your control that you fear, and embrace the opposite consciousness of an individual effort of things in your control that you resonate with. This is the answer to all of your frustrations and fears. So take personal responsibility and action and see that you are the one that you've been waiting for.